and today in this tutorial you're going to be learning how to make this four layer tutu and this headband. For this tutorial you will need a sparkly shirt, a rubber cutter or scissors, lots of tool, ribbon, glue gun and glue sticks, some flowers, elastic, and a headband, and also maybe some rhinestones. So since we're making tutus, you obviously are going to need a lot of tool, and you could buy them in these spools, or you could buy it in bulk, and this is actually a lot cheaper than all of these spools. So for our tutu, we used four different colors, and which is four different layers, but you guys could do one layer, two layers, or alternate colors. You could be as creative as you want. And you can use scissors to cut the tool, but we are using a rotary cutter because it is faster and you get cleaner lines. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut off a strip of tool and the tool should be double the length that you want your skirt to be. So here is an example of a strip that you need to cut off and this is for the top layer so it's short and what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half and this is the length that it's going to end up being. With this tool you are going to fold it this way it matches up with the other end and once you have that take one of your fingers and stick it through the top bring it into a loop like this. So take your ribbon and put your tool over that. Hold it like this and then grab the tool through the loop, pull it through, and then tighten. And now you have the beginning of a tutu. And you're going to continue that all the way around until you have a tutu. The length of your elastic or ribbon should be your waist size and if you want it to dangle a bit, then it should be about two feet longer on each side. If you're using elastic, it can just be about an inch longer. So the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to tie a ribbon on two things. And we've done this on chairs, like the backs of chairs, where if it has like a back. And this is on the bottom of a foldable chair. And this setup makes it much easier than having someone hold it. So once you have all your layers complete, you want to connect them like so. You connect them all at the length of your waist and like your original measurement, because some of these were like longer than the others, but we attached them when they needed to be attached. And each layer of tool is about four inches longer like than the other. The longest layer is on the bottom and then it gradually gets shorter as it goes to this layer. So now we are going to add some flower detail to the front part of the waist. So I'm going to take the tops off of some decorative flowers and then glue them on here. And we have pink, blue, and white. Now that I'm done gluing my flowers on there, I'm going to add some pink rhinestones to the middle of my blue flowers. So we have completed the tutu, and now all that's left to do is the hair. The next thing that we're going to do is Poppy's hair, which is actually a headband. And so we're going to be taking this black headband and wrapping this blue ribbon all the way around it. So now that you have your headband wrapped completely in ribbon, you're going to take some strips of tulle, and you just cut these exactly like how you cut the tulle for the skirt, and you do the loop system, the same way you did for the tutu, and you, instead of doing it down, you do it up. So you don't actually need to go all the way around, you just need to get this top part covered. And then once you have that, have, um, have it upside down or have somebody hold it upside down for you and then gather up a good spot where you want the hair to be and then tie it with a ribbon. And ours is blue, but you don't have to have a blue one. 
And it's going to look like this. Our, our strips ended up being too long and this ribbon is too long. So we're going to trim both of them. So once you're done with your headband, it should look a little something like this. And now all you need to do is add some flowers for decoration. So now our puppy headband is complete, and now all you need to do is put on the full costume. And I am wearing a blue sequins tank top to go with the tutus. And you guys can wear any troll shirt or any other shirt that you'd like to. So this completes the whole puppy costume. You have a whole bunch of tutus together to make a one giant tutu, and you have this nice headband. Thanks for watching. Comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, post for your, and bye, Jimmy. And also go over to the DreamWorks TV channel to see how to make a puppy and branch costume.